if you want to understand the essence of today's Republican orthodoxy, I want you to listen to Matt Burke, and then we're going to take it on the other side, because I have quite a bit to say. Some of it may not sit well with some, but it's the essence of what's happening in this country. And absent us doing what is necessary to really cauterize in people's minds, to really talk about unchaining one's mind, we are going to be heading not only to the wrong path, but to a different reality, a different America. Our culture loudly, but also stealthily promotes abortion. You know, telling women they should look a certain way, they should have careers, all these things. Again, rape is obviously a horrible thing, but an abortion is not going to heal the wounds of that. Two wrongs is not going to make it right. One of the arguments that I've probably saw 20 times online today was, was about rape. You know, they always want to go to the rape card. I say, great. If you want to agree on the other 99.8% of pregnancies, if, if we're right there, then we can, let's talk about the 0.2%. But rape is obviously a, a horrible thing. Shortly after, uh, We'd won the Super Bowl. Did I mention I won the Super Bowl? <laughs> Abortion's legal, you know, and it was kind of an easy out for a lot of people that didn't really want to engage. Well, it's, it's legal, you know, just you know, a lot of things have been legal before that we've changed, right? Uh, you know, slavery used to be legal, right? Which is an interesting comparison to make because really the way that the other side treats an unborn child is basically like that that unborn child is the property of, of the mother. Uh, other laws, you know, uh, women, women used to not be able to vote in our country. Now we let them drive. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I have, I have three teenage daughters that drive. I don't know if that's a good law or not, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now think about what Matt Burke said there. I mean, in the beginning, earlier on, he says, you know, we are subliminally telling women, get an abortion. Abortions are okay. We tell women it is okay to have a career. What? You mean it's not okay for women to have a career? We're telling women, oh, you can drive now. I know he said it as a joke. That part is a joke. But that is the mentality of many of the troglodytes that are leading the Republican Party that also get justification from an evangelical, uh, the, uh, the evil parts, the evil sect of an evangelical movement that is in, that, that intends to once again, not chain people, but chain the minds of people. I want you to really understand what this guy is trying to inculcate into people's minds. But let me just say, women. Women are over 50% of this country. Women are uh, leaders around the world that have been successful in solving our new problems, our pandemics, etc. I think they have shown greatness that because of the empathy that men somehow have relegated elsewhere, that they're successful in doing these things. Yet, in America and many of these countries, we're trying to rebound the supremacy of men, the supreme of particular men, that is. Um, but at the same time, you have to ask the question, how can that happen when there are more women? How can that happen when people in the things that they want are more progressive? There's an easy answer, right? And that answer is self-worth. That answer is, why don't we believe in ourselves the way we should? You know, uh, it is the reason why you can have people of that a particular party uh, Aggrieves, and those people still go towards that party. It's the reason why we have so many women that knowing that control of their bodies is an economic issue. It's a moral and economic issue. It's a matter of who owns you. Should be you. You should have agency in yourselves. And yet... There are many women, many people that shouldn't otherwise be voting for the leadership of the Republican Party who are maintaining troglodytic type of 
policies, and they remain. People, women, people of color. It is imperative, it is imperative that you see past the superficiality, that you see past the facade of some party that gives you some semblance of uh, some some semblance of worth against one that says what we are here for is to serve you please people don't fall into the trap vote your interests matt burke is not an aberration the lieutenant governor Republican candidate of Minnesota, he is not an aberration. He's not an exception. The policy that they're putting forth from the Supreme Court down, they are telling you who they are. From the coup on this nation to the coup on the Supreme Court to a coup on your minds, they are telling you who they are. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.